Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we went to uh, the Stumbling Wheel, uh, where we saw Hop. He was able to capture Cersei on, and we had one battle, one great battle with him. And now he's found his dream in life, to be a Pokemon professor. Anyway, in this episode, let's start exploring or in the region of Galar. See what's now available to us now that we're in post-game. Hey, and now that uh, Sorbert and Schubert are dealt with. If you come to uh, Hops and Leon's house, in Leon's room, there will be a Pokeball for you. There's a Pokeball with a Charmander in it. You read the letter attached to the Pokeball. If you're reading this, Donnie, then I am leaving this special Charmander to you. Let's have a real fiery battle again soon. Best, Leon. So you get a gift left behind by Leon. Being Charmander. From the time it is born, a flame burns at the tip of its tail. Its life would end if the flame were to go out. What makes this Charmander special, besides this being one of the only ways to get Charmander in Sword and Shield before Pokemon Home and DLC, is that this Charmander has the ability to, to Gigamax. So you're given a free Gigamax X Charmander. That when you uh, evolve it all the way to Charizard, you'll be able to get be able to have a Gigamax Charizard, much like Leon. Now let's quickly head to P P P blah, 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 to Professor Magnolia's house, cause there's a water route here that we can access. Here you'll be able to see and find Pokemon you would accidentally run into uh, that you may not be able to normally find elsewhere. There's a particular Pokemon in this route I want to capture for later. Also, I believe these islands do have items and whatnot on them. We want to head to this little corner out here. To find a wild Ostagoon! You can always find a wild Ostagoon, I believe, spawning in this area. So if you don't want to go through the process of evolving uh, Galarian Lyanoon into Ostagoon, here's an Ostagoon for you. And if we remember, there was a Team Skull Grunt that wanted an Ostagoon, so we best capture it so that way we can give it to that Skull Grunt. Uh, skull Grunt. Um. Wrong team. Um, yell! Yell grunt later! Uh, team Skull is Sun and Moon. I don't know why I said Team Skull. It evolves after experiencing numerous fights. While crossing its arms, it lets out a shout that would make any opponent flinch. Item from that, uh, I believe, yeah, there's this Pokemon you can capture normally. Can I get around without starting a fight? There we go. Here you can get TMM69 Psycho Cut. The user tears the target with blades formed by psychic power. Critical hits land more easily. Trying to make another person Pokemon on... Trying to take another person's Pokemon makes you no different than a thief. Pokeballs only only to be used to catch a wild Pokemon that have no trainers. I don't know why they put this sign so far out of the way. Next in our adventures, we are heading for or the wild area. Not much has changed in the wild area, but all Pokemon now will be at level 60. Uh, the highest possible level they can be. Also, at the dens, if you interact with them, you get more watts from them now. An inactive den will give you 200 watts, while an active den, such so like the one way over here, will give you way more watts. So it's worth going around and start interacting with the dens, because you get a whopping 2000 watts now from the dens in post game.
There's also this guy that I forgot to interact with. Well, well, today looks like another fine day for camping, I do say. Is there anything in camping really? Oh, maybe I did talk to him, but, um, earlier. It says I never came back to rape my decks. First, I'll tell you about the mysterious disc. Is Curry, er, everyone called Curry. Everyone in Galar has been hooked on it. To start, you'll need to mix in a berry to make the curry. Then cover over a glane called rice in it. And then there you have it. Quite literally curry with rice. But wait. There are ingredients that you can add to the dish, like toppings, to uh, the better suit your taste. You can make all sorts of magnificent curries while you're camping. And whatever you make, a new kind of curry, it will automatically be saved in your curry deck. So try to make all uh, matters of different curry recipes. How's your curry decks coming along? Allow me to have a quick look at it. You've made a 19 curries. You're certainly starting to make your way down the long road of curry cooking. Be sure or to fan the flames just right so not to burn the dish. And don't spill when spinning the pot. Since you made at least one different kinds of curry, how about a reward? Get sausages. Sausages are a staple topping. Be sure to try them when cooking. So here's our next reward, which is a fresh ball. So he will give you different balls that your Pokemon can use to play with. The fresh ball is a new kind of Pokeball I've developed. Nah, I'm just having a laugh. It's a toy that you can use to play with your Pokemon while camping. It's a spitting image of, of a Walmart berry, and it's quite heavy too, so you might have a little difficulty throwing it. The Weighted Ball. Remember a heavy ball is what you use to catch, catch Pokemon? This might look similar, but it's the Weighted Ball. It's just a toy. It makes a real heavy sound as it bounces. Try playing it with when camping with your Pokemon. I think for every five current new types of curries you make, he gives you a reward. The Soof Bell makes a sound out like a bell when you throw it. Try throwing it when you're camping, amping with your Pokemon, so every to calm everyone's hearts. I know that if you cook, I believe, every type of curry there is, he will give you a Leon Ball, which, as the name applies, is a is a giant ball with Leon's face on it. Right now that we're in Motor Stroke, there's a few things we can do here in Motor Stroke. So it's like if we talk to Ball Guy over here. Hey there, champion. I've been waiting for you. If I become mates with the champion, then maybe I can finally become an official mascot of the gym challenge. Oh, before I forget, you'll be able to become champion thanks to my cheers, right? So, here's something to make sure you don't forget your old friend, the ball guy. A super rare league card. You'll be the envy of every collector out there, I promise you. Don't worry about the card's slight, like, wrinkling. That's just because everyone tries to get their hands on it. I know, it looks like a common one, but mark my words, it's a true treasure of a, of a league card. We get Bull Guy's league card. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Cutesy little card. This mysterious figure is taking, is taking it, uh, it, uh, it upon itself, herself? to dress up in the fashion of the Pokemon's League official mascot. The mysterious individual is, n is known to many as the Ball Guy, but in point of fact, all the mis mis mystify it when it comes to this person's true identity or age or even gender. While the Ball Guy is known for her, his, habit of handing out rare Pokeballs here and there around Galar, it's a mystery as to why or even where these balls come from, it's all very mystifying. There's that. There's two other things we can do here that's worth note in um, the in Motor Stroke, which first off is at the hotel. We want to go upstairs. 
Now I believe it's one of these rooms we need to check. No. This door? No. I know it's one of these rooms we need to check, but I can't remember which one it is. Here we go. Watch this. Back at the semifinals. So many people were out there cheering for me. It made me really happy. I want to give them a proper smile. Donnie? Th th this is too embarrassing. And there goes Marlene. You could easily miss that because you have no indication to come here. Now one other thing to do here in Motorstroke is we want to come down here. As you remember, there was a guy down here that said he wanted to see us when we became champion. Ooh, item. The X accuracy. So let's go meet the guy. Eek! Champion! Do you want me to teach your Pokemon the, on the marvelous move Steel Beam? See you! So this kid will teach you the move Steel Beam. It is the ultimate Steel type move. It does, I think, I think it's like a wound, I think it's like 120 or 150 power on its own. That's before you factor in the stats and everything. Um, but the move does as uh, a ha uh, do does recall damage and is usually over half the Pokemon's HP. So you only get to fire it once or twice, and then your Pokemon's done for, or unless you can heal them. But it's a really powerful move. This move, I believe, was also named in a in a contest held by Koro Koro. So that's where it got the name Steel Beam, as I believe Korokoro held a contest uh, for for readers of Korokoro to submit uh, names for the move. And the move was officially named Steel Beam. Now there's nothing in turn field, but if you come here to the Galar Mine, there is something here for you. Uh, if I can find it. I know it's here in the Galar Mine, but... We come this way and... Yep, there she is! Olivia will be hanging out here. Oh, champion. I never thought I'd do run into you in the mines. I've been doing some voluntary community service on Mr. Rose's behalf. Mr. Rose... A long time ago, he used to work in the coal in a coal mine, you know. That's why I'm actually ha happy doing this kind of work. Yes, I am so happy that I think I'll give you one of my prize league cards. You don't need to worry. I have hundreds, hundreds of copies of Mr. Rose Rose's league card. They're all signed too. We get Rose's rare league card, champion. Thank you for stopping Eternatus. I know Mr. Rose feels the same way, but he has just so... But he was so worried for the future... Uh, worried about the future. Let's have a read. I love that picture. It's like, yeah! Chairman Rose is dedicated is a dedicated philanthropist who spends much of his own time and money researching ancient disaster known as the Darkest Day, all in order to solve Galar's energy issues. He firmly believes th is that actions speak louder than words and will often often make decisions without revealing his thinking to others, for the better or for worse. It is his style of leadership it, that has allowed our microcosmos uh, conglomerate to grow to where it is today. Note the text of X above was submitted by his secretary. So that's done. 
Let's get out of the mines. And take a flight to Hellbury. Uh, I think I will quickly update my lead card and then we'll do the last thing we'll do in this episode, which is here in Hellbury. Because I forget if you get something new for your lead card huh? once you're champion. Uh, doesn't look... Unless you get these colors, not anything too fancy. Effects. Hey, rainbow. Ooh, that looks cool. There's that. Ooh, that looks cool. Next step, let's change our pose to the Charizard pose. Ooh. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh! <laughs> we got bubble foil. Let's use the brilliant foil. Let's do the last thing we can do ooh, here in Hellberry. If you come into the restaurant, the chef will now be at the counter where you can speak to him. Before he would be away from the counter so you couldn't speak to him. Ah! My delivery guy caught a cold and can't make it today. You are the one who, who dined here with Chairman Rose, right? Would you please help deliver us some food? Thank you, I truly appreciate it. Received ordered food. Ask for where to deliver the food. Sorry, I forgot to ask for the address. I heard a clickety clack sound from the phone. Maybe that's a clue to where to go. So I believe the house we need to go is near the train station. Wow, this is the best seat. I can see the gym stadium. Oh, wait, there's one other thing about Hellbury. Um. We're going to quickly ignore the houses, because if you go all the way to the lighthouse, and I f can't remember if I showed this off, you now have these Pokemon hanging out here. The Pokemon band, the Maximizers, is, a, is an amazing live. Want to watch? No thanks. Right then, come back if you want to get Maximized. So you can come here and watch the credits again as many times as you want. I forget if that was in the base game or if that was something they added in the DLC or an update. But yeah, you can come there and witness the Maximizer so that way you can watch the credits again. Oh, are you delivering my food? Thank you for the trouble. The restaurant dishes are full of seafood and so delicious. I've already paid the restaurant, so I'll give you candy as a tip. Got a large candy. Now back to the restaurant. We're basically being an Uber, an Uber delivery driver at this point. Thank you for delivering the food here. Something for your trouble. He will give us five nuggets for the first delivery. A nugget of the purest gold that gives off a lustrous gleam in direct light. It can be sold at a high price to shops. Back again? I want to ask you to deliver some more of some food again. Is that okay? Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Ask for where to deliver the food. Sorry, I was an idiot and forgot to ask for the address. I don't know if this helps, but I think I heard a Pokemon's cry over the phone. Like, swirl. So we need to look 
look for a Pokemon that makes that noise. Uh, let me see. You make meowing noises, so you're not it. I believe it's in one of the houses. It's one of these houses here. You go diggy to dig. You have no Pokemon. You don't quite make the same noise. But you do, which is why you have to interact to you because it doesn't show you the bubble. Ah, I'm starving. Oh, I smell the ocean. You're from the restaurant, aren't you? I've been drooling while waiting for the food. Thank you for delivering the food. You get energy from food. You should eat balanced meals. Thanks for delivering the food. Here's something for your trouble. Two big nuggets. A big nugget of pure gold that gives off a lustrous gleam. It can be sold at high prices to shops. Come back for more work. Back again. I want to ask you to deliver some food again if that's okay. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Asshole where to deliver the food. Sorry, I am a complete dumbass for doing this a third time in a row. I forgot to ask for the address. The customer told me to look for a green roof, but I wonder if there is such a house in Herbury. So look for a green roof. Well, all the houses have orange roofs, so let's come down here. This building has a green roof. You're delivering the food? Well, well hey, I'm the one who ordered it. The tail curry of this restaurant has a unique flavor. I love it. Say hi to the manager for me. It's easy to spot the green roof, wasn't it? What in the world was that? So everybody's talking about Eternatus. Thanks for delivering the food. Here's something for your trouble. This is a little token of my gratitude. Please take it. For doing all of his deliveries, we get the lucky egg. An item to be held by a Pokemon is an egg filled with happiness that earns the holder extra experience points in battle. So if you want your Pokemon to level up faster, have them hold on to that egg and they will level up pretty quickly. Anyway, I think we're done with this side of Galar, so in the next episode, we'll check out the other side of Galar. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.